next one go ahead for the next question guys a b and c started a business C started a business started a business by investing by investing rupees 1,20,000 rupees 1,35,000 And rupees one lakh fifteen thousand respectively. And rupees one lakh fifty thousand respectively. Find the share of. Find the share of B out of annual profit of find the share of B <coughs> out of an annual profit of an annual profit of rupees fifty six thousand seven hundred. Six thousand seven hundred great A, B, and C started a business by investing rupees one lakh twenty thousand, one lakh thirty five thousand, and one lakh fifty thousand, respectively. So that means total how many uh, partners are involved in this question here guys? Total three type of partners are involved. That means total three partners are decided to start a business together. Mr. A invested how many rupees of A investment into the business here? A invested how many rupees of A investment into the business? A invested one lakh twenty thousand rupees of A investment into the business. B invested one lakh thirty five thousand rupees of A investment. C invested one lakh fifty thousand rupees of A investment. Right. When I talk about uh, investment ratios of A, A, B and C here my dear guys. Let us put a focus here. Uh, 120, 135, 150. This one is what ratio here? So this one is what ratio? 18 is to 5. How many times applicable for 120? 18. How many times applicable for 135? 27 times. How many times applicable for 150? 10 times. 
18 is to 27 is to 10 all right let us go for the next one my dear guys find the share of b out of b out of annual profit of rupees 56700 an annual profit of rupees 56700 we have to find out the share of a b here an annual profit of rupees 56700 we have to find out share of a b here okay annual profit means that is up to how many months up to how many months my dear guys here annual profit means definitely at a end of year very good definitely at a end of year means till end of the year these three people has kept their investment into the business all right so time period ratios of a a one year and even b also invested investment up to one year even C also till one year. Investment ratios of A, A, B and C we know that is 18 is to 27 is to 10 and the time period ratios of these three people also we came to know that is uh, up to one year. Uh, time period ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1. Let us go for that like you know finding of the profit ratios. A gets how many pots of a profit here? A gets 18 pots of a profit. B gets how many pots of a profit here? B gets how many pots of a profit here guys? B gets 27 pots of a profit. And Mr. C gets how many pots of a profit into the business? Mr. C gets 10 pots of a profit only into the business. Let me check here. A, B and C all together total how many pots only here? A 18 pots only gets and B 27 pots C uh, 10 my dear guys. Let me put a attention on this question here. 18 plus 27 that means 30 plus 15. 45, 45 plus 10, 55 pots. 55 pots is equal to 56,700. 55 pots of a profit equals to 56,700. That means including A, B and C total 55 pots these 55 pots of a profit in terms of a rupees we came to know that is 56,700 55 pots equals to 56,700 means one pot of a profit equals to how much here right now we have to find out what about the share of a b into the business that means b's share only we have to find out 55 pots equals to 56,700 Okay, 11 how many times applicable here? 11 pots equals to Here how many times? Great 5 into 1 1 3 4 0 Is there any possibility here? One pot equals to approximately one pot of a profit equals to eleven into ten one ten thirty four eleven into three and one zero is there right one zero is there means again point nine approximately one or three point nine would be the one pot of a profit. One pot of a profit equals to what are three point nine rupees means approximately you should take one or four rupees. If you take approximately one or four rupees, uh, we got how many pots of a profit only here? We got a total twenty seven pots of a profit. One pot approximately one or four rupees means twenty seven pots also approximately how much? 
104 rupees right 2727 double uh, 54 54 double 108 2800 plus 2700 plus 108 that should be 2808 approximately B's profit should be approximately B's profit should be 2000 oh great 800 8 rupees B's profit should be 2800 8 rupees only my dear guys that's how we have to do it like this kind of questions here all right Let me check it once again. 11 parts equals how much here? 27, 8. 5 into 18, 120 only my dear guys. 5 into 27, 135 only. 5 into 10, 150. Alright. 18 plus 27 plus 10. That is how much here? 27 plus 18. 37 plus 8, 45, 45 plus 10, 55, 55 parts equals to correct, 56,700 only, 56,700 means 5, how many times applicable here, 5 elevens, 5 elevens, 3s, 4, 0, 1 part of a profit equals to, 1 part of a profit equals to how much, 1, 10, 3, that means 30, let me check, 11 parts equals to, 11,340. One pot equals to 110, 34. Uh, 34 means 3, 33. Uh, you should be careful here, my dear guys. One pot equals to, one pot of a profit equals to 10, 130, 34, 340. Uh, 340 means 11 into 30, 330. 330 means 10. 10 means uh, 0.9. 10 means 0 0.9 means 1030 would be the one pot of a profit. One pot of a profit 1030 means approximately you should take 1030 here. If you take one pot of a profit as 1030, what would be the base share here? One part of a profit as 1030. 1030 means uh, 27 triple 810. Uh, 810 means 2000 here. 810 rupees would be the approximately the share of a B here. Alright. That's how we have to do it my dear guys. Especially uh, in partnership questions. I think you people understand here. The moment once you are clear with that investment ratios and time period ratios. Uh, easily we can answer here profit ratios and even for that individual person. However we have done for A or B or C whomever it might be, uh, we can answer very well without taking more like you know more than 40 or 45 seconds. Sometimes it takes 35 seconds only however we have done like you know last two questions. It's all about depending on our calculation part that's it. Investing rupees 45,000. Yes, investing rupees 45,000. After three months, we joined him with a capital of rupees 60,000. After three months, we joined him. After three months, 
we joined him with a capital of rupees sixty thousand. The capital of rupees sixty thousand. After another six months, after another six months, she joined them with a capital of rupees ninety thousand. <coughs> she joined them with a capital of rupees ninety thousand. <coughs> The capital of rupees ninety thousand. At the end of the year, they made a profit of at the end of the year. They made a profit of profit of rupees sixteen thousand five hundred. Find the share of. Let us focus on this question, my dear boys. A started a business investing rupees forty-five thousand. After three months, B joined him with a capital of rupees sixty thousand. After another six months, after another six months means uh, after B is joining of six months, C joined them with a capital of uh, rupees ninety thousand. At the end of the year, they made a profit of rupees sixteen thousand five hundred. Let me check here. At the end of the year. They made a profit of rupees. At the end of the year, they made a profit of rupees sixteen thousand five hundred. So total, how many people are only involved into the business? Even in this question also. In this question also, we do understand total three people are only involved into the question. All right. Total three people are only involved into the question. Even in this question also, A started a business investing rupees forty five thousand. Investing rupees forty five thousand means how many rupees only Mr. A invested into the business? He invested 
फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इन टू द बिजनेस डेफिनेटली ए शुड बी इन्वॉल्व इन टू द बिजनेस अप टू ओमनी मंथ ए शुड इन्वॉल्व इन टू द बिजनेस अप टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स मीन्स आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स ऑफ ए शुड जॉइनिंग ओनली बी जॉइंड इन टू द बिजनेस समय क्लियर आफ्टर थ्री मंथ्स ऑफ ए शुड जॉइनिंग इन टू द बिजनेस ओनली B joined into the business means B has to put investment into the business up to how many months only B has to be involved into the business three months less than A A invested forty five thousand rupees of A investment into the business up to how many months only twelve months B invested. How many rupees of investment only into the business? B joined into the business after three months of A. That means B should be involved into the business up to nine months only. B invested how many rupees of investment into the business for nine months of a duration? B invested. Sixty thousand rupees of a investment into the business up to nine months. All right. After another six months, so she joined them with a capital of rupees ninety thousand. After another six months means after B joining of six months, she came into the business. B was there into the business up to how many months? B was there into the business up to nine months. B was in the business up to nine months means C should be into the business up to how many months only? C joined into the business after six months of B joining. C joined into the business after six months of B joining means definitely C should be involved into the business. Up to how many months only? C should be there into the business up to three months only. For three months, how much investment only invested by the C into the business? For three months, C invested only ninety thousand rupees of a investment. All right. Now let us go for the great. Let us go for the investment ratios of a a. B and C into the business. All right. When I talk about investment ratios of A, A, B and C into the business, what ratio should be here? Three, four, and six. When I talk about time period ratios of A, A, B and C here, my dear guys, the ratio should be what? Three. Four and one here. All right. So A invested three parts of A investment. B invested four parts of A investment. C invested six parts of A investment. The investment ratios of A, B, and C right now we have decided as. Three is to four is to six with respect to the given investments only, and the time period ratios also we came to know that is four is to three is to one. Let me put a attention here. Profit ratios would be twelve is to twelve is to six. Profit ratios would be twelve is to twelve is to six means A gets how many parts of profit only into the business. 12 parts. B gets so many parts. Even B also gets 12 parts only. C gets so many parts here. 16 parts. A gets 12 parts of a profit. B also gets 12 parts of a profit. C also gets like you know six parts. When I talk about uh, profit ratios of A, A, B, and C here, that is 2 is to 2 is to One two is to two is to one ratio should be the profit ratios of a A B and C into the business. Am I clear? A gets two parts, B gets also two parts, C gets only one part, 
ए बी एंड सी टूगेदर टोटल हाउ मेनी पार्ट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इयर टोटल ए बी एंड सी टूगेदर फाइव पार्ट ऑफ प्रॉफिट ओनली फाइव पार्ट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इक्वल्स टू फाइव पार्ट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इक्वल्स टू हाउ मेनी रुपीज इयर सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज फाइव पार्ट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज मीन्स वन पार्ट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच वन पार्ट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इक्वल्स टू थ्री थ्री डबल जीरो वन पार्ट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इन द बिजनेस वी केम टू नो दैट इज थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड वन पार्ट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इन द बिजनेस थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड मीन्स राइट नो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट फॉर होम वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एस्पेशली फॉर सी ऑलरेडी वी डो सी गोट इट ओमनी पार्ट ऑफ प्रॉफिट ओके सी गोट इट वन पार्ट ऑफ प्रॉफिट ओनली वी नो वेरी वेल वन पार्ट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इन टू द बिजनेस इज हो मैच One pot of a profit into the business. That is what right now we have decided. That is three thousand three hundred would be the one pot of a profit into the business. Yes, make a note to oh, that one, my dear guys. A, B, and C started a business. business each investing each investing rupees 20000 investing rupees 20000 So each investing rupees twenty thousand means everyone has invested twenty thousand, twenty thousand like that investment into the business. That means everybody has invested equal investment into the business. After five months, A withdraw. Five months. A with the drill. Rupees five thousand. B with the drill. Rupees four thousand. Two rupees four thousand and C invest C invest C invest rupees six thousand more rupees six thousand more. thousand more at the end of the year a total profit of at the end of the year a total profit of rupees 69900 were recorded
69900 were recorded find the cis share find the cis share A, B, and C started a business. Each investing rupees twenty thousand. After five months, A with to draw rupees five thousand. B with to draw rupees four thousand. And C invested. Let me check here. After four months, what happened? After okay after 5 months a has taken 5000 rupees of a investment out from the business and b also taken out 4000 rupees of a investment from the business next to one c invested additionally 6000 rupees of a more investment into the business c invested additionally 6000 rupees Investment into the business after five months. At the end of the year, a total profit of rupees six thousand sixty nine thousand nine hundred were recorded. At the end of the year means we are talking year. End of the year. End of the year means great. All right. End of the year means. Oh, let me check here. All the people who are there in the business up to how many months? At the end of the year, a total profit of rupees sixty nine thousand nine hundred were recorded. Let me check here. A started a business. A invested how many rupees of investment into the b a invested 20000 rupees of a investment into the business b also invested how many rupees of a investment into the business b also invested 20000 rupees of a investment only into the business when i talk about c here c also invested Twenty thousand rupees of a investment only into the business. All right. <coughs> after five months, what happened? Uh, after five months, A withdrawn five thousand rupees of a investment from the business. All right. <coughs> after five months, A withdrawn five thousand rupees of a investment from the business means. Definitely up to five months of a duration. What should be the investment of A into the business? Definitely, Mr. A has to invest twenty thousand rupees of a investment into the business up to five months. After five months, what happened? After five months, Mr. A has taken out how many rupees of a investment from the business? After five months, A has taken out five thousand rupees of a investment from the business. That means, what should be the investment of A for the remaining seven months here? The investment of A should be for the remaining seven months as fifteen thousand. The reason behind of that is, after five months, they have withdrawn five thousand rupees of a investment from the business. After five months, five thousand rupees of a investment withdrawn means what should be the investment of A from sixth month onwards till twelfth month? That means for the remaining seven months, investment of A A should be fifteen thousand only. All right. Next to one. Next to one. Right. Next to one. B invested twenty thousand rupees of a investment. Here also same. B invested this twenty thousand rupees of a investment into the business up to how many months only? B invested twenty thousand rupees of a investment up to five months. And after five months, what happened, my dear guys? Here, after five months, B has withdrawn how many rupees of a investment from the business after five months of a duration? Yes, all right. B has withdrawn. 
फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ ए इन्वेस्टमेंट फ्रॉम द बिजनेस फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ ए इन्वेस्टमेंट डी एस टेक एन आउट मीन्स हाउ मच इन्वेस्टमेंट शुड बी रिमाइनिंग फॉर बी फॉर द रिमाइनिंग सेवन मंथ्स सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड रुपीज ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इज ओनली फॉर बी फॉर द रिमाइनिंग सेवन मंथ्स ऑल राइट when i talk about mr c here mr c's situation is different compared to the a and b situation here after 5 months c has invested how many rupees of more investment into the business after 5 months means up to 5 months c's investment should be in the business 20000 only after 5 months c has invested additionally 6000 rupees of investment into the business all right and what should be the investment of ac for the remaining 7 months my dear guys here the investment of ac should be for the remaining 7 months that should be 26000 only this is what how information we got it especially from this question here itself Let us make a point out here. A invested twenty thousand rupees of a investment up to five months. Next one, B invested twenty thousand rupees of a investment is only up to five months. Whereas coming to the C also invested twenty thousand rupees of investment only up to five months. After five months, C has withdrawn or invested. After five months, he has invested additionally six more thousand. That is the reason twenty-six thousand rupees of a investment only should be for C for the remaining seven months, and B should be invest sixteen thousand rupees of investment only for that remaining seven months, and A also invested fifteen thousand rupees of investment only for that remaining seven months. A and B. both the guys were withdrawn their investment from the business after 5 months a has 5000 and b has 4000 but whereas c has invested 6000 rupees more investment into the business all right let us go for the uh, profit calculation here 1 lakh plus here 70 plus 35000 One lakh five thousand. One lakh plus one lakh five thousand. That is how much? Two lakh five thousand. Next to one. One lakh plus seventy plus forty two. One twelve. Two lakh twelve thousand. Next to one. One lakh plus one forty plus forty two. One forty plus forty two. One eighty two plus one lakh. 282 let us go for the calculation my dear guys 205 great 212 282 how many times applicable for oh great guys so many times applicable for that oh, great 205 212 282 all together how much here 600 82 600 Twenty six thousand rupees, six thousand more. All right, twenty six thousand only, my dear guys. Two not five, two seventeen. Twenty six thousand forty two, one forty twenty thousand na. Great, one forty plus forty two, two eighty two. How many times applicable here at least? If I take three. Great. If I take three, how many times, my dear guys, here? No, it is not possible here. Exactly one divisible two twelve two eighty two two not five two twelve four one seven four one seven plus two eighty two four one seven plus two eighty two. How much, my dear guys, here? Four one seven plus two eighty two. Let me check here. Two not five. All together, how many parts here? Four, six, six eighty, 
प्लस टेन सिक्स नाइन्टी सिक्स नाइन्टी नाइन वेरी गुड सिक्स नाइन्टी नाइन पार्ट्स इक्वल्स टू हाउ मच माइडियर गाइस हियर सिक्स नाइन नाइन्टी नाइन पार्ट्स इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड सिक्स नाइन्टी नाइन पॉट्स इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड वन पॉट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इक्वल्स टू मच माय डियर गाइस हियर वन पॉट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड वन पॉट ऑफ ए प्रॉफिट इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड मींस हियर होम वी हैव टू आंसर वी शुड आंसर फॉर सी व्हाट अबाउट द शेयर ऑफ सी हियर 282 parts only. One part of a profit equals to 100 means 282 parts equals to how much here? Twenty-eight thousand two hundred rupees should be the share of C into the distribution. Very good. Let us put attention, my dear boys here. A invested twenty thousand rupees, B invested twenty thousand, and C also invested twenty thousand rupees of investment equally into the business. But that investment is only up to five months, and after five months there were some modifications. A with withdrawn five thousand, and B with withdrawn four thousand, and additionally C has invested six more thousand. And as per that given information, we have gone for the profit ratio here. A got it two not five parts, and B got it two twelve, C got it two eighty two. All together six ninety nine parts. Six ninety nine parts equals how much here? Six ninety nine parts of a profit equals how much here? Six ninety nine parts of a profit equals to sixty nine thousand nine hundred. One part of a profit equals to much hundred. One part of a profit hundred means Mr. C got a total how many parts of a distribution? 282 parts of a distribution only. 282 parts of distribution is equal to how many rupees, guys? 28,200 rupees only. All right, 28,200 rupees only. 282 parts of a profit. All right, let us go for the next one, guys.